Marx turned to history to understand how this dominant economic form uh, played a role in other societies and the structure of those societies. Looking at European history, Marx identified three distinct modes of production that he believed societies pro would progress through. He first looked at the first of these was feudalism. This is a largely agricultural agrarian society where a small number of people own a great deal of land and then a vast majority of people who are serfs or peasants who work on that land. And a portion of what they make, they keep, and the rest goes to those who own it. The second mode of production is capitalism. And capitalism was in relatively early development during Marx's life, and he was able to see how society shifted from agrarian or feudal systems to uh, to capitalism and the changes that were occurring in other aspects of society as well. Capitalism is industrial, so we have large industries, we have the use of mechanization, mass production, and it's characterized for him by the relationship between the bourgeoisie and the proletariat in the way that feudalism was characterized by the relationship between the aristocracy and the peasant majority. The third mode of production that capitalism would eventually give way to, in Marx's view, was communism. He saw communism as technologically advanced. It happened after the development of capitalism. And what it essentially created was a classless society in which everything was shared. All means of production were owned and shared by all the people and all the decision-making about what was produced and how it was produced and how it was going to be sold and marketed was also determined by the people. Everything was shared communally. That's what communism means, communal or shared. This notion of communism is really quite different from the one that you're probably most familiar with. When we think of communism in the United States, we have a tendency to think back to the Cold War. So we look at communist Russia, or maybe we look at communist China and the communist revolution in China. What we saw happen in Russia and China doesn't follow at all what Marx was talking about because communism was supposed to happen after the development of capitalism. And that isn't what happened in either Russia or China. These were largely agricultural societies that were pre-industrial or at best early industrial when communism took over. So they skipped a step in terms of Marx's sense of development of, the, of the, the modes of production. What Marx was talking about in terms of communism is really quite idealistic. In one of his writings, he said that under communism, each would contribute according to their ability and receive according to their need. So essentially, everyone would have a productive role to play and everyone would be taken care of. That's a fairly idealistic point of view. And not at all what we've come to know about what's going on in communist Russia and communist China in terms of um, the leadership and their provision for the people. 